Hi all, this is Paul from Slice Mania, and today I'm going to show you how to add content on the master so your students don't move or delete anything by mistake. I've received a lot of questions regarding this, so I thought a video might help. So let's start. For example, I've created this activity here. It's just text, but I don't want to, I don't want uh, the students to move anything or delete anything. So once I've added my title and my text, I'm going to select it. I select it all by holding shift. I'm going to cut it, control X. And then I'm going, I'm going to go to slide, edit master. This is the layout I'm using. I'm going, going to duplicate it, right click on it, duplicate it. And now that you're in the new layout, that is not being used by any of the slides. I'm just going to remove the placeholders because right now I don't need them. And I'm just going to paste. And this is going to, it's not going to uh, bring the right fonts and stuff. So I'm just going to click here and say, keep source. So now I have it here. And because I want to um, uh, put some uh, placeholders, text placeholders for students to fill it, to uh, answer this, I'm just going to go to insert placeholder and I'm going to use this subtitle because I'm going to show you if I use the subtitle this is how it looks but if I go to text body text it's a lot bigger so just because I don't want that so big I'm just going to do this and I'm going to uh, nope sorry about that there and I can just whoops remove space there we go and I'm just gonna uh, duplicate it right and I'm going to duplicate it again and now I'm gonna to make it look nice I'm gonna arrange a line left so that's that and now I'm gonna close my master and I'm here and I'm going to right click on it and I'm gonna say apply layout and I'm gonna look for my new layout so here is my layout and here is uh, it's fixed. This cannot be moved, and they can just start answering here. I can just fix it because it doesn't look that right. I'm going to slide edit master. I'm going to put there at the bottom. Whoops, sorry. So it's just over the line. This there. And they can start start typing. And the only thing they can delete by mistake are the placeholders, which if they're working here, they just uh, if they delete the placeholder by mistake, they can just go to insert text box and use a text box instead. So but what I added is not movable unless they go to uh, the master. But again, if they do that, that's they're not moving or deleting my mistake. So that's one of the examples. Then I have this example over here. I have my title, my text, and I have a couple of images here as push, uh, push pings. And I have this graph uh, that is an image. But again, I don't want them to move it by mistake. So I'm going to select everything except for the push pins because the push pins I need them to uh, move them. I'm going to select, uh, select everything. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go to slide, edit master. This is the layout, the one that has the yellow uh, line around. I want, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to duplicate it. Again, this is not used by any of the other slides, so I'm just going to delete the placeholders and I'm going to paste uh, what I cut from the slide. And because I want to keep format, I'm going to choose keep source formatting. Now I can close my master and here I can right click here, apply layout and apply the layout that I just created. So again, this is not movable. They can just drag the push pins or anything else and they will not be able to delete anything, any of this by mistake. So another example. This is like for drag and drop activities. I have my title, my text, and the only thing I want them to be able to move are these words. So I'm just going to select it, cut it, slide, 
Edit Master, Duplicate Layout, and the one that is not used by any of the slides, I'm just going to remove placeholders and I'm going to paste this and I want to keep source. There you go. I'm going to close this here and I'm going to apply the layout that I just created. Again, this is not movable, okay? Now, for these words that I created so they could drag them, you ha I have two, uh, three options here, right? One is word art plus shape. This is a shape and on top of the shape, I've added um, a word art. I can just double click on it and write any words I, any word I want. And once I have my shape and my word art, word art, I'm going to select both, right click, and I'm going to group it. Now, it is editable, but it's harder to edit, okay? Because the other option is to have like a shape and text, but as you see, as soon as you click on it, it will be editable, not in this case. For To ed edit this, you'll have to double click here and this pop-up will open. So, And the other one is to use uh, the snipping tool. Uh, I'm a Windows user, so I have this tool here where I can just click on new and like I can write any word that I want and I have this. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So this is an image. It's no longer editable. I can resize it right and i can even add like a drop shadow if i want to so it looks the same but it's not longer editable okay and i can just resize it and for that just write your words and use the snipping tool and paste them here so now again they will be able to drag the words but this oops this will not be movable okay i'm just going to delete this it was a mistake there you go another example here here i want my title but i want uh, the students to write whatever they want here so for that i'm going to select i'm going to cut my title i'm going to go to slide edit master same here i'm going to right click i'm going to duplicate it it's not used by any of the slides. And I'm not going to remove the text placeholder because I want this to be the place where they have to answer. So I'm just going to remove the title and I'm going to paste mine. And again, keep source. And I have this. I'm just going to resize it there and close my master. And then I'm going to apply the layout that I just created. Okay, so here it is. And they can start typing here, but the title will not be a movable or deletable another example i have something that they have to match words or whatever but i don't want them to be able to move them or delete them so again i'm just going to select everything but the the arrows i'm gonna cut it slide edit master duplicate layout and i'm going to remove the placeholders and paste what I just cut from my slide and keep source formatting. Again, I'm going to go here, right click, apply layout, and here is this. So now I inserted some line uh, arrows here so they can just start doing whoops, this and they will not be able to move the words and stuff. They will be editable in the master, but not from the slide. Another example here, they're called the correct words, or if you want them to uh, select something or circle something, but I don't want them to move this. So I'm just gonna cut it, slide, edit master, duplicate layout. I'm going to delete the placeholders paste this, keep source format, formatting. I'm going to close this here and I'm going to apply the layout that I just created. Then I just insert this circles just by insert shape, shapes, the circle, the oval, and then you can just uh, transparent fill color and borderline. And I duplicate it a lot so they can just whoops, sorry, they can just drag the circle 
and place it on top of the words and this will not be movable. Now, what happens if you have like a worksheet that you had in PDF or something that you were already working are uh, using when you were like uh, uh, when you were uh, working not uh, online? You can just uh, use the snipping tool again to make a screen uh, a screenshot of the PDF and then paste it here. So now, but I don't want this to be deletable by mistake, so I'm just going to select title on the image that I just pasted. I'm going to cut it, slide, edit master, right click on the layout that I'm using, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to remove this and I'm going to paste this, skip source formatting and I'm going to close the master. Now here I'm going to right click, apply layout and I'm going to apply the layout that I just created. For this, I just added text boxes and um, added fill color and border color. So now they can start something typing. Well, if I can type something here, right? So again, this will not be movable or deletable. They can just, again, delete the text boxes, but it's easier if, easy if they have to insert a new text box there or if they delete this one they can just grab one and copy and paste or duplicate as long as they have one there it will work now what else here the only thing that doesn't work <clears throat> when you paste it on the master are links and videos if i paste links and videos on the master they will only be clickable in present mode so you can just leave this here or you can uh, place them on the master as we just saw and add a little note that they have to click on present to be able to click the links or watch it that's the only thing that you have to keep in mind N 